Clay City fam, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the grocery store, back at Aldi on the north side of Chicago, because I wanna do a healthy lunch haul with a recipe. Most times during the week, I'm a robot. I eat the same thing for lunch and breakfast, and then dinner I mix it up. But one of my lunch recipes that I love is a grilled chicken salad with a perfectly cooked chicken breast, crunchy salad, lots of yummy bits in there. So why don't we come to Aldi, right? We have the free pass to film here. Why not make as much content as possible and get the ingredients, get the, uh, the produce we need for the healthiest chicken uh, salad ever, then go back to the kitchen and make the recipe. That way we combine the haul with the recipe for the perfect video. Before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. All those things are great, but I think equally as important is a bell icon right below the video push the bell enable all notifications because guys we have so much content going live every single week i don't think you want to miss out plus every friday night we do hashtags fridays with flav we make a recipe on a live stream from start to finish and it's a ton of fun all right so if we're going to make a grilled chicken salad what do we need we need chicken well there's a lot of options for chicken here we have chicken breasts we have chicken thighs, chicken drummies. And what I'm really excited to start seeing now at Aldi is organic chicken breast. I think chicken breasts work best for this kind of salad. And back in the day, they didn't have organic. Now they do. When you see USDA organic, yes, my friends, that means a lot. A lot of people like to ask me, what if they cheat? Can they really sort of, uh, you know, put that into practice? Yes, if you cheat with organic, you're in a whole world of problems. Certified humane is really uh, an important thing because chicken farming can be very inhumane. You should really see these hen houses that pack 30,000 hens in there. Humane means they do it right. Plus, most importantly, look at that price. I've seen organic chicken breast up to seven, eight dollars a pound. We're talking five seventy-nine, and I know that's more expensive than this, right? It's four twenty-nine for the never any. But to be honest, for an extra buck fifty, I would scoop this all day because when it's organic, that means the chickens are not eating a GMO corn and soy feed. Keep this in mind: chickens always eat grain. That's all they eat, right? But if they're eating conventional grain, they're eating Monsanto-laced, GMO-laced corn and soy. That's not something. I ever ever want to eat when it comes to dairy when it comes to meat chicken i don't want to eat something that comes from an animal that's eating gmo grain with organic they can't feed it gmo it's still eating grain but it's non-gmo very important so we're going to get these i'm going to pound them thin spice crust them and show you how to cook it in a cast iron pan so you have the most juicy chicken breast that's not overcooked that's not dry it's going to be a game changer but we need the oil to cook the chicken in and we need the oil to dress our salad in let's go over to the cooking oil section because they have some really good choices here at Aldi. Okay, so the two oils I'm interested in are extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil. And I have to get two because I can't really cook with the extra virgin olive oil because we're doing a high heat cook and the smoke point of extra virgin tops out around 400-ish. Plus extra virgin is a cold pressed. As soon as you heat it, you get rid of that raw, beautiful flavor and you're kind of wasting your money. So I'm gonna pick up avocado oil because it's not only a high heat oil, it has no flavor. In my opinion, it's a great replacement for corn oil or canola oil, which is still a high heat oil that has no flavor, but it's highly processed. We have videos about cooking oils and the good and the bad, and avocado is one of the best high heat cooking oils around. So I'll cook my chicken in that, and I'll dress my salad in extra virgin olive oil, plus it's organic, but look at these prices, you guys. This is the uh, Simply Nature, $4.99 for a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle of uh, extra virgin organic oil. That's good. We come down here. $6.99 for the Simply Nature 16.9 bottle of uh, avocado oil. It's really good. Now, you know, we could get better prices at a place like uh, Costco or a Sam's Club, but outside of the warehouses, this is one of the best uh, things you can get, uh, the best prices you can get for these high quality, heart healthy oils. So we're gonna scoop this. Now, before we go to lettuce and stuff like that, let's go to the crunch because I need crunch in my salad. And what does Art always say about crunch? If you're not on team crunch, you're not in our bunch. Exactly, so let's change that sitch. All right, here they are. Parmesan crisp and like, <laughs> can't make a video without Bobby dropping the stuff. That's not right. Uh, Parmesan crisp and cheese crackers are getting crazy popular. You think of like wisps and stuff like that. And I love them for many reasons. This is a one ingredient crisp made of Parmesan. If you're lactose intolerant, you can eat these because when aged cheeses age like this, the lactose is eaten hum, 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 by the bacteria and the lactose is where the sugar lives. So it's lactose free, not casein free, but it's just Parmesan cheese. And the reason why I love it too 
is that you look at the macros, there's no carbs. It's actually like a negative one net carb. And they also have, if you want spice, some jalapeno Parmesan crisps. How do they get that in there? Not natural flavors, artificial flavors. No, with real dried jalapenos. So not only are these gonna add crunch to our salad, hey, if you want a snack that's grain-free and keto, this is your uh, vote. If you want something to dip with your uh, hummus or with your avocado uh, puree or guacamole, this is your vote. And look at this art. We're talking 2.89 for a 2.11 ounce bag. That's winning, right? So I'll get both these actually. And then I like a little bit of sweet in my salads, right? Because we're gonna have crunch. We're gonna have a little bit of saltiness from that. How about a little bit of sweet? So I like to put raisins in salads. I love sweet and savory. I may have raisins, but I'm seeing now it's not organic. And I really wish it were organic because grapes are on the dirty dozen. But that being said, I'm gonna go with the best we can do here at uh, Aldi. I'm not gonna get the big one because I do have other organic raisins at home. I'll get the snack pack here for the reduced price of 165 because what did the uh, lady say in uh, Billy Madison about snack packs? I thought that was your snack pack. We do have quite a few options for lettuce here at Aldi. You have to go organic in my opinion. All lettuces are on the dirty dozen. Organic is a must. And I'm drawn to this. Check this out. This is a one pound clamshell of organic spring mix, which I love the mix of uh, greens and radicchio, which is kind of bitter. Look at this, it's $4.19. That's a great price. Normally you'll find this kind of stuff for at least $5 most places. So I'm gonna get this and put it in my cart. But you might want a different lettuce. So I'm gonna say if you're gonna do like the romaine hearts, which I love because it gets rid of the outer kind of wilty or soft leaves and only gets the crispy inner leaves. You got to get the organic pack and that's going to be right here, Art, behind you. This is a great price, $2.79 for a three pack of hearts because like Adam Durrett says, it's the heart that matters most. Um, I love my kale, right? You know I love that. I'm very particular about my kale. I don't like green curly kale because it's so tough and like rubbery. I like black lacinato kale, AKA Tuscan kale, AKA dinosaur kale, but I never buy it pre-chopped because they always put the stalks in there and those are really fibrous and not edible. Um, so you're paying for that. And then you're paying for a lot of the weight too. So this is 12 ounces for 319. I just buy my own organic a bunch, which they don't have here. And then the baby spinach, I do love baby spinach, but it is 269 for five ounces. So not the best deal. The best deal is by far my spring mix right here. Let's get also right behind art. I'm gonna do a 360 or 180 actually. I love these mini cucumbers because the seeds are very small and you don't have to scoop them out. And this, <laughs> this is very busy here, by the way, guys. Art, the sure-footed guy, almost took a header into the uh, slaw mix there. Uh, $2.69 for a one pound bag of uh, organic mini cucumbers. Yes to that, plus Desi loves it. And then let's just walk over and see what kind of avocados they have because they usually have a pretty good deal. And yeah, just as I uh, suspected, check out the price here, Art. Large Haas avocados for 99 cents or the mini bag for 3.99. I'll just grab a few of these. It's always tough to find ripe ones, but I always find that Aldi has uh, the best price on avocados. They're never ripe, but this is one of the vegetables or the fruits actually, I should say. You don't have to buy organic because it's protected by that big skin. Just put it into a bag with some bananas to help speed the ripening process and you're good to go. Plus they're loaded in fiber, just like we talked about uh, in the other video. Foods that are high in fiber are prebiotics that feed the gut bacteria in your stomach. So there it is, you guys. We have everything for our grilled chicken salad. Let's pay. Let's get out of here. Let's head back to the kitchen and make some killer power lunch salad. Let's do it, Rose, right? Let's make the lunch salad. Flav City family, what is up? Rose and I are back in the kitchen. Art's here too. We got all of our goodies from our lunch haul from Aldi, and we're gonna make my ultimate midweek lunch salad with greens, crispy bits, and the perfectly cooked spice crusted chicken breast that is so darn juicy you'll never overcook it again. Recipe starts with a cast iron pan preheating in the back here, Rose, and the organic chicken breast from Aldi. But here's the deal. We have actually the number one ranking video on YouTube for how to cook a chicken breast, which is crazy, right? But it's, it's no, it's literally that crazy. Thank you, because I was understanding it, Rose. Look at the chicken breast here, Art. The key to cooking a good, juicy, even cooked chicken breast is an even <laughs> is making sure the chicken breast isn't too fat or plump. And this is a little too plump for me. So here's what I do with almost all my chicken breasts. I pound them a little thinner so they cook evenly. 
I'll reach into my drawer here. I'll grab some plastic wrap, put it down over the chicken breast, and then use a mallet here to gently pound down, but down into the side, because you don't want to go straight down and tear the chicken. And I just need a little bit of pounding because these aren't too fat. That's good for that one. There's no juice going on Rose. That's why I'm using the plastic wrap. Thank you, mom. You like the juice? <laughs> I don't like that juice. That's the only time I don't like the juice. And then to make a really easy spice rub for the chicken, let's add about three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric, the same amount of smoked paprika, and the same amount of cumin. Now, I did not buy these spices at Aldi. In fact, Rose, they don't even have smoked paprika there, but I figured they're kind of pantry staples, right? I have a Marie Kondo pantry thanks to Desi. Any spices or spice rubs you have at home, just use here, it doesn't matter. Or buy one of the spice rubs from Aldi, it's all good, right? We just wanna get maximum flavor into a chicken breast that has no fat, is very lean, and has really no flavor. So, before we do the spice rub, let's pinch over some salt. Make sure to use unrefined salt if you can find it. Or pink salt would be nice too. Then some of the spice rub. I love the color there. And then rub it in. Flip the chicken over. Use your clean hand to pinch on a little more salt. And it's almost like I can hear them, Rose. Can you hear them saying, that's too much salt. Trust me, it's not too much salt. Why do you think, Art, you want to be aggressive? What would you do here, Art? Because you got to season that thing inside and out. Exactly. And Good luck seasoning the inside of it. You can't season the inside. It's gonna create a salt crust and a lot of it will stick to the pan, so I wouldn't worry about it. All right, let me wash my hands. And then we'll crank my pan up to medium high. I'll grab the avocado oil I picked up at Aldi. Add one to two tablespoons of oil. Let the oil warm up for about a minute. And then once it starts to shimmer, and moves back and forth pretty quickly. It's hot. Lay the chicken breast away from you and make sure it's sizzling like that. And when the breast goes in the pan, just push down for about five seconds carefully so it's making max contact with the pan. That'll make for a nice crust. And then immediately go down with the splatter guard. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. Splatter guard is essential for this. And I feel like if you don't have a splatter guard by now, I'm failing you as a friend. I'll leave the Amazon link down below. That's an essential. All right, let's get to fixing the rest of the salad. Here's that amazing deal on the spring mix. And we got to thank one of the fans from the live stream the other day, Art. They said to make this last longer, put a couple paper towels in here and then store it upside down because that'll wick away the moisture. And I'm like, wick it away, wick it away, wick it away now. I like that idea a lot. So thank you for that, because I hate wasting. I was singing that in my head right before you <laughs> did it. Art and I are equally as crazy. Art might be a little more crazy, but yeah, it doesn't surprise me he was singing that. Thank you, Bobby. And then I like to give it a rough chop, just so it's a bit easier to eat. And then add it to a big bowl here. And then we'll take some of those raisins. I got the snack pack size, Billy Madison style. Shake those in there for some sweetness. All right, let's check the chicken here. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful crust. The amount of flavor in there is literally crazy. And the spices have seared into the crust. Put the uh, splatter gut on and let it go for another four to five minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes more. You can use a pro thermometer or you can just take a clean finger and push it. You want it to be firm but have a little give and that feels perfect to me. So I get that out. And check it out, even though I used a splatter guard, still gets messy, but imagine this 10 times worse if I didn't use it. All right, the chicken's hot and juicy. Art, should we just cut into this right now and enjoy it? No. No, why? It's gonna have a hot mess. It's gonna have a hot mess. So basically the temperature inside here right now is about 155 to 160. If I cut into here, it's so hot, all the juices will pour out and you'll take a chicken breast, which is already lean and get rid of all its moisture and it will be dry like chicken jerky. So just put it on the side. You know what I like to do actually? While it's resting, just take a shot of extra virgin olive oil and just pour it on top. That way it soaks into the chicken while it's resting. Okay, let's finish the salad. So I was thinking we should make like a simple vinaigrette with like uh, one part vinegar, three parts oil, but 
I think that's kind of boring and a lot of work. This is a lunch salad row. So the goal when daddy eats this Monday through Friday is to get lunch done as soon as possible. I have a lazy man's dressing and I know we didn't pick up mayonnaise at the store, but you probably all have mayonnaise in your fridge. Hopefully it's avocado oil mayonnaise that uh, I know Trader uh, Aldi needs to get on that because they don't have it yet. This is a creamy, tangy, lazy man's dressing that I make three, four times a week. So before we add dressing, season your greens. Oh my God. I've I'm turning into Gordon Ramsay. Every video we're doing, like, season the greens, season the pond, season the cutting board. <laughs> if you've seen Gordon Ramsay's a burger video, you know what I'm talking about. Before we dress it, just pinch in a little bit of salt because the greens are very bland and a few cracks of black pepper. Then add literally about a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. For this size salad, I'm gonna scoop in probably two tablespoons of mayonnaise. You can always add more. You can't take it away, so take it easy on that. And then cut a lemon in half and add the juice of, let's see, about, yeah, about one lemon there. That was a half a lemon. Oh, thank you, Art. Half a lemon. <laughs> and you want it to be on the acidic side to help cut through the flavors of the chicken. But look at that. That's beautiful. Now, in honesty, in real life art, I would eat my lunch out of what I consider the dog bowl, but that drives Desi crazy because I'm going like this all lunch long. And she really hates that, so. <laughs> See, she hates it. So I'll plate it up nice for you guys, but I recommend dog bowl style. Do we have the avocado or did you finish it, babe? The avocados I bought from Aldi have been eaten by Rose and Desi, but that's okay. We don't need it. Let's add the dressed greens to my bowl here. Then we'll take some of the low carb Parmesan crisps here. I wanna just kind of crumble those on top for some crunch. Who needs a crouton when you have crispy parm? Then the chicken is rested for about five minutes. We'll slice that. Now here's why I love cooking it this way. Look inside that breast. You have that nice definition of the spice crust but it's just so juicy, look at that. This is the best way to cook a chicken breast that's not dry and overcooked. And put that down on the salad. And then maybe just a little squeeze of lemon juice on the chicken. And there it is, you guys. I just realized that I did forget to add the organic cucumbers, but you could totally do that. I'll save it for the next day. All right, Art is in the house. Desi's holding the camera. Let's try this. Sounds good. I never get tired of eating this, which is so fresh. But when you get this kind of salad out and about at like a Panera or wherever, the chicken is sad, right? It's white with those fake painted on like grill marks. This is vibrant, juicy, seasoned perfectly. And the salad is just the kind of salad you want to eat. Yeah. Wait for Art, come on. Why are you going in when he's talking? <laughs> she already knows Art's not going to say anything, so she's like, I'll just show the salad. No, there's... <laughs> I just, no, he was right. Quite a complex flavor profile there with the spices. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and there's a contrast between the creamy, creaminess of the dressing and the crunch of the Parmesan crisp, so it's quite the dichotomy, and I really like it. Dichotomy. Wow. You hear that, Rose? Holy cow. This is a first for Art. All right, well, this is our lunch. I'm going to make another salad for Desi and Art and Rose. We're going to have it together. That's it, you guys. We did the breakfast haul and recipe the other day. We now have the lunch one coming up pretty soon. It will be the haul for dinner and the meatball recipe. Recipe down below in the description box. Like, subscribe, share. The only way our channel keeps growing, the way it has, is by you guys spreading the love. Art and I have two more videos going below us right now. But Desi, who's holding the camera, Rose, my love. Art and me will see you soon. Until then, we say unto like we always do. Hashtag, keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Mm, you're so good. You're so good.